Okay, Timothy, so I was looking at your work and a couple of things came to mind and let's take a look at the, at the two the two ads here. And the one thing that I, I can see is that this ad has got a little bit of a white stripe on the left side. So your bleed isn't running adequately and this one even has a bigger one. So watch your bleeds on that, okay? Um, now the main thing, I, I let's take a look at the image and I'm looking at this and I'm saying, uh, um, if I look at my um, actual page and this is what made me do this i'm at 8.3 percent looking at this and i'm going 8.3 percent what so i go like this i command zero to get the full page then i back down just a little bit well, okay well what i'm getting at is this i hit command r and i look at the size of your files and they are 36 inches wide by 48 inches um see you're at inches and right now we are at something like 37 or 38 by 48. So th this is just an enormous ad. It's supposed to be 8 by 10 or 8 and a half by 11. Anywhere in between there, 8 by 10 would be fine. Okay, so really want to watch that. Okay, let me get rid of those rulers and let's talk about page mechanics. Um, this is a good ad. I think the image is really good. It shows a lot of really good characteristics that I think that you're trying to capture. Um, for Amethyst Bay. The problem I'm having here is the way that the type is really difficult to read um, in those palm trees. So that I would consider to be a, a, a pretty severe issue. A lot of times, as you're finding out, a lot of times the images that you choose are strictly dependent upon how well they their, their ability is to hold the type. Okay, I don't think this is the greatest image in the world to hold type. So let's take a look at your next image. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We can see that this one is accommodated much more nicely to hold type, as we can clearly see right here. Um, so I would say that this is a better ad than the first. Now, the problem with this ad is that it's it's not a very good image for Amethyst Bay. Why? Because it's a cloudy day, and that almost looks like a gray cloud indicating rain. And, of course, your client is going to say, hey, man, you can't use a cloudy day to promote our Caribbean resort. And I agree with that. I, I think that's a valid point and I would, one that I would be concerned about too. So what I'm going to suggest is try to stick with a layout more like this, but with an image that is a little bit more uh, Caribbean friendly, so to speak. Um, okay. Uh, a couple other things right here. Smart, no smartphones required. That's good. Free tours with three nights. I would pull that um, um, subhead. Well, they actually that's fine where it's at. The, the uh, wine glasses are placed beautifully. I think that's a nice touch right there. It really is. And then the logo, I recommend using the color version of the logo instead of that black and white version. I just think you're stripping a lot of what could be vibrant action towards the bottom of the, um, uh, the ad itself. Okay, so again, main thing is watch that, those file sizes. They're pretty darn big. Okay, other than that, great job. If you have any questions or um, if you need any further clarification, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right, thank you very much. Good job.